and welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a very minimal everyday makeup it's pretty glowy because we're using a cheek palette and in this new cheek palette I have it's from NARS it's called the exposed palette and I'm using the Glossier mango lip balm to prep my lips and I use the Tatcha the water cream to prep my skin um, today we're just focusing on this cheek palette I'm gonna just use also concealer this is the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer in the shade cashmere and I'm just covering those areas where I need to cover my redness and some imperfections but really this is gonna be a really easy to follow tutorial we're not using too much product here we just want to look glowy and pretty for an everyday look you know it's Sunday and I really wanted to record this video because I know that some of you who follow me on Instagram really wanted a look like this and I'm usually a more color like you know colorful you know um, editorial kind of gal makeup looks I love love those makeup looks I'm really into them so here I'm buffing into the skin the concealer with this real techniques brush I really love the real techniques brushes I can't get enough of them and I'm just blending that away <laughs> a little bit more concealer on my under eyes because I feel that I need more it's a bit dark under there I don't know why but it is and also putting a little bit on my lids so that darkness will go away because we want to look fresh and pretty and no imperfections are allowed in this makeup routine <laughs> Now for the star of the show, I'm using this NARS Exposed Palette, but before that, I'm going to powder a little bit with this L'Oreal True Match Powder. This is my everyday powder. I'm just going to set the areas that I need the most and probably will look shiny, you know, if I don't powder that area, so I'm just powdering those areas away, like under my eyes, on my lids and a little bit all over my face now I'm using a little bit of that bronzer that comes in that palette I don't know what the name is it I think none of those shades have names but I am working that onto the brush it seems to be a little bit more sheer than I thought it looks dark and it looks a little bit intimidating but it does have a little bit of sheen and a little bit of color but I later you're gonna see that I go into the Maybelline bronzer that I have the city bronzer because I feel that I need it a little bit more color but this one gives this natural flush and I really like that I just want a little bit more bronzy bronze <laughs> That middle shade of the blushes is a little bit pinky, more mauvey blush, and I think that it suits well what I'm with what I'm wearing today. I really, really like the pigmentation on that blush. I can't live without blush these days. 
and I'm just putting tapping and tapping motions on my cheeks and on my nose and on my chin so it can look fresh and you know really pretty and this is the description I'm giving this glowy make literally fresh every day and beautiful now I'm using the highlight to put on my chin I mean on my chin wow um, on my cheekbones and also I'm gonna put on my chin but on my chin on the bridge of my nose a little bit over like on top of the brows so it can give that beautiful beautiful effect if as if the Sun is hitting my face and it shines through <laughs> leave out mascara out of in everyday makeup it's the, the most important tool on a I mean product on a look like this because it does literally lift your eyes they look fresh and awake and you know my eyelashes look crazy right now because I still have some I have I still have some lash extensions left because you yeah, know like I didn't do um, I didn't do them again. I really didn't think that I would spend another 50 bucks on them. I feel that, you know, I'm okay with having those lash extensions once a year, probably. I didn't really... I didn't really... Not that I didn't enjoy them, but I don't think I will be putting them again. Now, for brows, I'm using the NYX... Um, brow definer pencil I really like that I'm just brushing up my brows my brow hairs so I can define from the bottom of the brow and then I'm gonna go up to fill in any gaps my brows in place I always use a, a gel a brow gel this is from benefit from the Desi Perkins kit and I'm just brushing up my brows so they can stay in place and look really really natural For lips, I'm staying pretty, pretty neutral and I'm not really using any lipstick, just this lip gloss from Fenty Beauty. You probably must know this gloss. This is the gloss, the, yeah, gloss bomb? Yeah, the gloss bomb from Fenty Beauty. It's the original shade and I really, really like that to wear on a daily basis or on top of other lipsticks, but I prefer to have this glowy and neutral um, makeup look with a gloss. I feel that it does give that pop of shine and glow we're looking for. And now I'm using, I'm going back to the eyes and just putting a little bit of highlight on the inner corner and on the middle of the lid because it will give a, that effect again when the sun hits to your face. That kind of glow we're looking for and if the sun hits you directly it will, you know, pop that illumination and with the blush that is on the middle of the top row I'm going to define a little bit my crease but not so much I'm just literally shaping that a little bit but nothing too crazy that's the finished look thank you so much for watching um, this is actually me wearing my short hair my newly cut fresh cut hair on a curly you know my curly hair this is my natural hair and this is the first time I'm actually throwing that out in the public and 
then I also throwing I'm throwing here my outfit of the day I'm using a top from Sarah this is this I'm in love and the mom jeans which I have owned since maybe two years now and these sunglasses are from forever 21 this is a pretty um, casual Sunday outfit and I hope you enjoyed that thank you for, for watching and see you on the next video bye